So Monique said in a recent interview she did, well, let me let you hear a part of it right here. Let's be honest enough to have those open conversations. Now, if you want to go further with it, let's be honest enough to have those conversations. What is it about that person that you find that you want to sleep with? Because they may give you something that I'm simply not willing to do. But... And if that's the case, how can I be mad? Because I'm not going to do it. Should I deprive you of not having it? And she says, no, I shouldn't. So she's willing to give a her significant other a pass. Well, what's wrong with that way of thinking, though? People feel that they're going to cheat. People are going to cheat given the right opportunity. And so would you want it to be someone your significant other does it behind your back because they may do it anyway? Or would it be an open line of communication? You have that discussion. You know for well what's going on. It's not happening all the time. It could be, it's, it's something that could be just sex. Okay, then you may feel that that's okay. But if it's an ongoing relationship going on behind their back and they don't know anything about it, which one would you prefer? Do you see on any level at all of you ever being able to accept that? Oh, I've been in a situation like that before. And you were cool with it? I was fine because it was just sex. It wasn't going out, spending time, buying gifts, trying to build a family. You just every now and again, and it's not like it's happening every weekend, every two weeks, once a month. You just was having sex. And you were okay with that? I was fine.